with the name of Allah, unit number four, geometry, exercise number five, question number seven, in a parallelogram, W, X, Y, Z. W, X, Y is equal to 72 degrees. Z, W, Y is equal to 80 degrees. Calculate A, W, Z, Y, and B, X, W, Z, and C, W, Y, Z. So this is the required information and the two angles which are given in the question. First of all, we will discuss the properties of the parallelogram. Number one, the opposite sides are parallel and congruent. This is the simple shape which already given. So according to this shape, given properties, number one is that the opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Means this side is equal to this side. These are congruent and parallel. And this side, and this side. These two sides are parallel and congruent. Number two, the opposite angles are congruent. Opposite angles in this shape, A angle is opposite to C and D is opposite to B. So these opposite angles are congruent, means these angles are equal. The consecutive angles are supplementary add up to 120 means angle A and angle D. These are consecutive angles. So these are the supplementary and these added should be up to 180 degrees. Each diagonal bisects the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Each diagonal bisects the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Means the diagonal A and C, this bisects the parallelogram in the two congruent triangles. Means this triangle and this triangle. When we will draw the diagonal D and B, so this will also bisect the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Means if we will draw this diagonal means diagonal D and B, so this triangle and this triangle will be congruent to each other. When the two diagonals are drawn, so there are the four triangles. But when we draw one diagonal, so it will bisect the parallelogram into two congruent angles. So these were the basic properties of a parallelogram. Now we should try to solve parallelogram W, X, Y, Z. So first of all, I will draw parallelogram and two parallel sides.
This is the parallelogram W X Y and Z. In the question, angle W X Y Z is given, so we will mention where is the angle W X and Y. This is the angle X and information is given in the question that it is 72 degrees. And the second angle which is given in the question that is Z W Y. Z W Y. Z W Y is this angle and this is 80 degrees. So this information was given in the question means the measurement of angle X and the measurement of angle W Z W Y is equal to 80. Now the required information is number one or number A is W Z Y. W Z Y is 72. 72 degrees. So in the given shape or the shape which we draw W, X, Y, Z in that shape, where is this angle? Where is the position or the location of the angle? So W, Z, Y is this angle and this is 72. Why this angle is 72? Because in the given properties, the opposite angles are congruent. Because angle Z is opposite to angle X. So because in angle X measurement already given 72 degrees in the question and Z is opposite to X. So angle WZY will be 72 degrees. So now we will solve part B and part B is X W Z X W Z so X W Z This angle is the complete which already is given. One part of this angle is already given, that is 80. But this angle XWZ, how much? According to the given properties of a parallelogram, the concept Consecutive angles are supplementary, which added up to 180. So we already discussed that angle D and angle B are the consecutive angles. So in this shape, angle Z and angle W, these are the consecutive angles. These are the consecutive angles which are supplementary and added up to 180. So now we can calculate 180 minus 72 and minus 
eighty. So remaining is one eight. So because this is this part of the angle, this part is twenty eight. So now angle X W Y is 28 and if we are going to calculate the angle X W Z so we will add 28 and 80. 80 plus 28 so it will be 108. So this angle is 108. And the third information which is required, that is part C, and part C is W, Y, Z. Now we will mention where is the location of angle W, Y, Z. W, Y, Z. This is the angle W, Y, Z. So this angle is the al alternative angle. So this, if the angle X, W, Y is 28, then the angle W, Y, Z will be 28. And this is the required information in the question. So part C, W, Y, Z is equal, equal to 28. So there is one confusion in the book. Question number seven, if you will check the answer in the book, this part C is given angle W, Y, Z is equal to 80. So according to my opinion, that is, uh, means the printing mistake. So the angle should be 28 instead of 80. According to the property of uh, the angles that the alternative angles are equal. So the angle X, Y, W will be 80, but angle W, y z will be 28 if you have any question any suggestion or any opinion please write in the comments box thank you for watching please subscribe my channel els educational and legal sport thank you